percentage of the load. What happens with a lot of people with the knee pain that have very strong quadriceps muscles, but the hamstrings are not that strong. And if you can start to activate this back part here, a lot of knee problems will just magically disappear. So there's one exercise called the woodpecker, which is really good for that. So we'll get into that a little bit. So the other main thing about the, the founder, and she has almost all of these, is that the weight of your body is on your heels. A lot of exercises, you're going to be doing positions like in yoga and stuff like that, that you're kind of on the balls of your feet. Everything has to come back onto your heels. So I'll explain that. What I want you to do is take your thumbs and go to the bottom of your ribs here, okay? And then take your pinkies and go to your hip. We're looking at lengthening here, all right? So your fingers are here and these are in your rib cage. So you're gonna be kind of nice and straight. And what we're gonna do is we're all gonna take a really big breath. You're gonna inhale a lot. But when you exhale, you're not going to let your body go back down again. So you have, the air will go out, but you're going to keep that lengthening. So each time we do this, we want you to be lengthening and kind of feel like you're getting taller and taller. And as you do this, you should actually start to feel your back muscles get a little tighter as you're doing this exercise. In this position, keep the position, hands to your back, and you're kind of pushing them down and opening up like this. Okay, so arms as nice and straight as you can, and you're, you're thinking about opening here and then lengthening that way. When you do that, can you feel the lower back even a little more? Yes. Okay, two breaths in this position with that elongation kind of thing that we're feeling. Okay, so keep that position, and now we're going to bring them forward as much as you can. So then you're just going to slide your hands back along the ground, and you really want to bring your elbows, yeah. tuck them into your body, and you're almost kind of trying to push your elbows down towards your butt as far as you can, but the hands have to come up off the ground. Okay. And once again, where's all my weight going to be on my yes. on my heel? Okay. So now there's there's two different exercises where you have this split. One of them, the weight is pretty evenly spread. This one, your wrist, right? Okay? So it's just kind of solid, even like that. But the big thing is, right now my hips are like this. They need to be like that. Okay. So they need to be square on the front. That's a really big thing. So just doing that, you should feel a little bit of opening here. Mm -hmm. So as I'm doing this exercise right now, I'm working this side of my body. Okay, the, the one that's back is the one we're working. So really stretching and opening the hip and go back. A little more. Mm -hmm. Further to open up, <laughs> open up the front. So mm -hmm. remember, this is even. And now, right, give, give yourself a hand.